Welcome back to Some Assembly Required. I'm your host, John Bouvier, and uh, obviously some things are a little different right now in the world and on our campus, so our set naturally looks a little different. I didn't build that, or that, or that, or this. Um, but here we are, and today I am going to be interviewing Christian Nobles as he builds a little something something. John, where, where's my chair? Okay, so Christian, track star. See, I have run before. I've run from things, I've ran to things. I don't enjoy running. I get sweaty, I get tired. <laughs> when did you get into running and why do you like it? Because I, yeah, I don't. Uh, I mean, it just got, it all got started my freshman year of high school. My brother ran track, my dad ran track. We've all run for the same high school coach. My high school coach has been doing it for, I think this is his 43rd year maybe. So we've all had the same coach. Um, brother encouraged me to come out, came out and did it. Um, and it's just it's kind of taken off from there. And Dang. here I am. That's that awesome, we, man. He's just like, this guy's a prodigy. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm gonna run with him, pun intended. Um, okay, so obviously, like there were a lot of colleges you could have chosen. Yeah. Um, what what kind of made Lee's track program stick out to you, or or Lee's campus, or whatever it was that brought you here? I mean, I really, I wanted to go to a smaller school. That was like one of the big things for me. Um, I didn't really, and like to go with that, I just didn't really know about college running. You know, when you think of college football, you think of like SEC, yeah, you know, Alabama, uh, Georgia, LSU, uh, but. When it came to running, I had no idea. All I was looking for was a school and a major, and I get to run at the same time. Um, and then I get the lead, I love it. Um, I came on lead day, uh, enjoyed it, uh, ended up committing um, um, back in like August of my senior year. So it was just, I just like felt really like at home here. Yeah. And it's just, why go anywhere else? Took one visit to Lee, didn't visit anywhere else, and just decided that this is where I was supposed to you be. You just knew. I just knew. It was a match made in heaven, in track world heaven. So, obviously, the world is kind of crazy right now, and a lot of things um, have kind of been put on hold. One of those things was this last season for you. You know, I, you were doing really, really strong, and you didn't get to finish the season out. Can you talk yeah. to me just a little bit about that process and kind of what was going through your head, where you were when you found out, and um, how that's been going. Yes, yeah, so we had left for the meet uh, in Birmingham. We were inside the facility. There's probably 300 of us in there. So it's like, we we're already there. If we were gonna get sick, you know, it was gonna happen either way because we were already crammed into the building. Yeah. Um, but then we got done and we went and went back to the hotel and I was just laying on my bed and I get this tweet um, from, it was like the NCAA tweeted um, all spring, all winter uh, championships are canceled. But then I thought, you know, outdoor is still an option. Um, but then they end up canceling that too. About, <laughs> about an hour an later, they said that that was all spring sports were canceled as well. Yeah. So oh. not a, not the best feeling, but. No, I can't, I, I can't even imagine, dude, that I, I, my heart goes out for all the athletes out there that Maybe it's their senior season that got cut short, and um, mm -hmm. I just I remember playing sports in high school, and I remember how special that last season is, and to just not have that, um, to not be able to finish it out, that would that would be really unfortunate. So talk to us a little bit about where you guys are at now. Um, I say you guys, kind of meaning uh, athletes in kind of in in your stage uh, in the process. Where are we at with eligibility and and what's going on there? Yeah, so uh, for me in particular, I still have, no matter what, if they give me the season back or not, I will be back next year to that's run awesome. cross, uh, indoor and outdoor track. Uh, that's guaranteed. But, um, I don't think they've come out and said anything about whether or not we'll be able to come back for um, the eligibility, like, uh, like my sixth year. So talk to me a little bit about how you juggle being a student athlete. Because I remember, being a student in itself is a full-time job. And I've yeah. seen you athletes, how, how much practice there is, how often you're away traveling for games or meets or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, 
and that's just like a whole world that I never had to live. So I'm curious, how, how is that juggling between the two lives there? Yeah, it's, uh, I, you know, coming as a freshman, I was terrible at time management. Um, just like, couldn't figure out the studying habits and, you know, um, just like, especially with traveling, like when to do homework and stuff. Honestly, struggled a lot with that. Mm -hmm. And that's something that they don't really prepare you for in high school, you know, cause you don't have to really worry about that. Cause mm -hmm. all your stuff is just like one day or after school. Um, so that was something I really struggled with, it, sort of struggled with but now um, it's just like way easier. I understand the process of that. Um, and I've tried to like pass that on to underclassmen just so they can hopefully do a better job than I did. Um, but I mean, I don't know anything other than the student athlete life, you know, yeah. I, it's easy to say like, oh, I'd have more free time, but um, I'm happy with, you know, the time that I have and. What's like, what, what is the one piece of advice that you could give someone who's maybe struggling with time management Maybe they're a student athlete. Maybe they're they're figuring it out you know, on the younger side. Do your assignments right when you get them. Mm. I mean, it's easy to say, oh, you know, it's doing a week. I'll do it this weekend. Um, if you can just like get out of class or like right after practice, do that assignment that they sent assigned in class that day, just so you like don't have to worry about it later on or like while you're traveling for a, a competition. My mom always told me that. I didn't do it. I didn't start doing it until this year, honestly. Hey, you're an inspiration. <laughs> you really are. And while you are extremely fast at running, you're not very fast at putting together chairs. I'm not. I just figured out where this, where the holes hey, line Hey, you're doing goes. great. You're doing great. Yes. But we are running out of time, so I'm just going to have to ask you to sit in the chair, dude. Just sit in the head? Yeah, just go ahead. Set I it up. <laughs> just one We'll out. see what happens. <laughs> Let me get one more of these. You, no, no, no. As it is. It As up. it is. Okay. Go ahead. You got it. Oh, it'll hold up. Oh, I want it to fall so bad. It won't fall. You don't even need force. <laughs> <laughs> As I say that, I almost fall. Here, dude, I want to switch. Can I try? You want to? Yeah. Okay. Let's go like six feet apart. Just, we'll practice social right. distancing. Good job. And <laughs> I feel like it's I'm, a little difficult. I feel like I'm sitting on Sesame Street. You have Street, to put all the balance honestly. in the back right. That's where the that's where the screw the is. The back right? Yeah, yeah. See, that's where the screw is. We're good. <laughs> hey, you did a great job. Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna continue to do the interviewer leg cross. I see Jimmy Fallon do this all the time. Hmm. Um, all right, so a lot of people are stuck at home right now. Uh, I'm sure you're feeling that too. Mm -hmm. And. I personally have felt bored on days, you know? What, what do I do during the day, during quarantine, as it's called? Um, so I'm curious, what, what's kind of your, your routine right now? What are you doing to stay busy? Yeah, I just wake up and I have my typical breakfast, which is eggs and cream of uh, wheat, brown Whoa. sugar. And then uh, I sit in on class and try and not feel super awkward staring at all my classmates in their PJs, and then I go run. How much does Christian Noble run on a typical day? On How a typical far day, do you run? Probably averaging, so like I'll hit 76 miles this week. So that's. I, I haven't driven that far this week. It's like 11 and a half miles, I guess, on average. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> I walked like a quarter mile the other day and I was winded. <laughs> that's I, all right. It, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> anyway, um, well, Christian, thank you so much for, for being my guest here. Yeah. You built a, a nice rocking chair, I will right. say. I'm gonna, when I'm 80 years old, I'm going to sit <laughs> on this thing. It's comfortable. And I'm going to play the ukulele, and my wife <laughs> we'll ho have her. hopefully will be closer than six <laughs> feet apart. Uh, but thank you so much for being here. You're, you're an inspiration, dude. You are an awesome person. We're so, Lee is so lucky to have you here. Um, and we wish you all the luck in the hopefully two seasons to come. Hopefully. We'll see. Appreciate it. All right. We will see you next time on Some Assembly Required. Woo!